Hey, hey, welcome to FindFishingDates.com. You have definitely selected the best dating websites to match with fishing and boating enthusiasts such as yourself. It really doesn't matter what you're looking for. Are you looking to find your first mate for fishing? Are you looking for a hookup? you want to find a fishing or a boating buddy? Or are you here to find the catch of a lifetime? It really doesn't matter. Let's get started. I'll show you how. Once you're on the landing page for findfishingdates.com, your screen should look like this. You will need an email address to set up your free profile. Okay, so here in the drop down menu, I'm going to go ahead and set up an account for myself. Hopefully, somebody will be able to stop in and say hi because I am going to keep it up. I am a straight woman. Continue. Okay, this is really easy. This field is not going to be filled out for you. So let me just start from scratch. I'm going to put in my birthday. My birthday is September 21st. And I'm going to go ahead and give away my age. Should I? Yeah, I guess I should. Okay. Uh, this drop down is from what country you're from. United States, United Kingdom, Canada, yeah, you can keep going down, but I'm from the United States. I was originally from Michigan, but I live in Florida now, so I'm going to keep Florida. And my city is Cape Coral, so I'm going to go up here and find Cape Coral. Your city should be listed here. If it's not, find something close. Okay, now let's just pretend I just typed this out. Now I have to agree to the terms and privacy policy. You're going to find this on any dating website you get onto. That's just to protect yourself. Okay, go ahead and hit next. Now, this is the last step. So, okay, my username. Now, this is going to be what everybody sees is your profile name. So I'm going to set up baby doll 2021. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in a password. Now you can poke this little eye right here and it will show you your password. I'm not going to you're going to want to pick a password that you're going to remember. There is a password recovery system, so don't worry if you do lose your password. But try to make it something you're going to remember. Okay, so hit done. Okay, and this, we just want to make sure that you're not a robot. So I'm going to go ahead and enter these letters. Okay, and hit done. Okay, I have set up my profile, but look, I have an alert. Okay. I can use the website only after I have uploaded a picture. Okay, that's easy enough. I'll just hit okay. I'll go right here. I'm gonna hit add a photo. Let me just pick this picture. And make sure you pick a picture of yourself that is current. A nice picture of your face. So maybe people can see what color your eyes are. Um, just want your picture to be current. So I can add a caption. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Now down here, you can add a video. You could actually add more pictures than I was on there. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just show you how to add more photos later on. So this section I will get to in a minute, but I'm going to add another picture and I'm going to pick this picture and I am going to give it a caption. Uh, this picture is me on my Harley Davidson. I am going to put, it's a biker pick, save. I can go down here and add more photos if I want. I'm a, I'm not going to add any more photos there. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit publish. Okay, so now this is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this part. This is the private photos section. 
everybody is not privy to this section. You will delegate access to the people that you choose to see your private photos, whether they're pictures of you um, doing whatever you like to do, whether it's pictures of your kid, maybe pictures of your, your mom, your fish, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture in here now. Everything is real simple, just hit the plus button. Okay. I'm going to put a picture of my boyfriend and I. Super, super proud of him. The love of my life. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I'm going to publish him. So I'm going to take a picture. Anyways, okay. Now I am going to enter my status. Type in that you are single. Okay. I am in a serious Oops. relationship. So this tab there. I'm looking for you can uncheck men, uncheck women. I'm gonna check men and women because I am looking. I don't want people to fish a boat with. Uh, I think everybody gets a fun exploring a new one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll say through 65. And you can poke the near me or not near me. Now here you have a drop down menu. It automatically goes to find the pitch of a lifetime. That's not what I'm here for. Uh, I'm not here to date. Could be here for friends or social. I could be here for people to fish a boat with or all of the above. Definitely not all of the above, but I would love to find people to fish a boat with. So I'll just hit save. Easy enough. I have my profile set up. Now, there are lots of things that you can do inside of the website. Acclimate yourself to it. Uh, there's the catch and release to be able to browse profiles. Uh, there's chat rooms. Now, these are public chat rooms. Anybody that goes into them can uh, see. Actually, I haven't approved my administrator. I haven't looked at my administrator. What are you going to be doing this? Uh, we have the mutual likes, people who like me, who I like, private photo access. I can invite my friends uh, and just browse profiles. Here's the message tabs. Actually, there's so many features in here. You can communicate with people by video, and it does not matter what kind of phone they have, whether they have an Android or an Apple, you can video message people live. So here's a message that I have right here, and I can't really do anything because I have not approved the photos because I'm busy doing this. Anyways, Hope you find what you're looking for. Check me out, say hi, and happy fishing.